Hey, my beautiful angel, it's Josie Grouse. Welcome to Soul Awakening Channel. Today we are continuing the conversation about the soul and how the soul expresses itself in the world. So the soul is the domain of meanings. The soul is relationships, experiences, feelings, emotions. And one of the ways that the soul transcends the karma, right? So the transcendence of past experiences and moving into the into a dimension of better possibilities, creative possibilities. So that's what, in essence, what the soul truly, truly wants. And if you feel out of balance, if you feel out of purpose, there is no other way for you to get to your purpose other than get in touch with your soul, Get in touch with your own soul nature, go deep within yourself and begin to examine, examine the experiences they already had and how that soul power is expressed through you. I want to give you a couple of suggestions on how you can do it on how you can really understand your soul's creative potential. When you come into this physical reality, your soul is here to serve. Soul is here to become connected to different people, different opportunities. And there are two ways for the soul to do it, either through teaching or through healing. You are right now, you are either a healer or a teacher. You have both of these energies, but there's one that is expressed through you more than the other. And when you understand what are you really good at, your soul wants to offer healing. It could be energy healing. It could be any other way. You may choose to go into medical profession. You may choose to become um, a healer, Reiki healer, crystals. A medium. So these are all forms of psychic healing, energy healing. You may just be so empathetic in your core that everybody comes in contact with you. They feel good. They feel inspired. They feel enlightened. <laughs> they feel so good in your presence. That's a sign that you are a healer. For your soul, this is a healing possibility. That's what you can offer. That's what you can serve with as a healer. So understand that you have both of these energies, right? The expression of the soul is both the healer and the teacher. But in this lifetime, you could be a true genuine healer or true teacher. So let's look at these two different areas which your soul may choose to express itself. Now, a teacher is someone who has, who is seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom. If you find yourself reading books, being interested in knowledge, you may be very technical in the way that you see the world. That's fine. That's exactly what your soul wants you to do, it wants you to feel centered in knowledge. And with time, that knowledge develops into wisdom. So wisdom is the language of the soul. Knowledge mixed with experiences. That's again, another dimension. Dima the domain of the soul is the soul is going to lead you to experiences. You know something intellectually. And then your soul is going to, okay, let's create, let's make something happen. So you apply that knowledge and that knowledge is translated into wisdom. In essence, you're here to teach the world. You are here to help other people who are seeking information, who are seeking specific techniques, resources, strategies, that's what you will be able to provide to people. And so as a teacher is going to lead you to many, many different possibilities to express your teaching gift. Now, teachers do not have as much empathy as the healers, because again, the healer is someone who is just by nature of their presence in the world, just it uplifts 
it uplifts the feeling and vibration of the teachers. It gives uh, this earth, the human community, a connection with that soul, with that resonance, with harmony, with feeling of love, creative abundance. Now, every healer has to go through a period of traumas, some events that would teach the healer to become aware of these healing gifts. And your job as a healer is to be as much centered as a soul and not to be affected by negative energies of the world, the problems and everything else that's happening, bad news. For you, it's so important as a healer that you keep your vibration at a certain point, that you truly, you're not being drawn into the drama, that you truly feel balanced within yourself. And this may take you a lifetime. But understand that your purpose as a healer is to bring harmony into the world. And how do you know if you're a healer, if you're a teacher? I always give these examples. Imagine now as a teacher, you have friends who call you at the time when they need advice. Okay, I don't know what to do. Help me. What do I need to do? And they may tell your story and that they expect you to fix them. They expect you to fix their problem. You have a way or some kind of strategy that you can come up with that advice is going to help somebody. Very good at management, at teaching verbally, and also very good at solving problems. Now, that is your soul's intention to be a teacher. You are born to express the soul energy as a teacher. Now, a, a healer is someone, let's say people always call you when they when they need when they need to cry, when they need a shoulder to cry on, and they feel good in your presence. It's just some, something about you. You just attract people and they call you all the time with their problems, but they're not asking you for advice. They're almost like dumb all of their negative emotions and pains on you and just like you deal with it. So, you know, and I, so this concept came to me through angels a long time ago. And I started to notice, I really was conscious, like, is this, is this really true? How does it work? So at the time I was a nurse at the hospital and working in the ER. So I was the ER nurse and we had all kinds of specialists, you know, doctors, um, different kind of, you know, from all different, different fields. And I noticed there's a certain difference between, let's say it's all medical profession, but not every doctor, not every medical doctor is a healer, period. Now, a doctor is someone who is very technical, a teacher doctor. Okay, let's just talk about medicine. A teacher doctor is someone who knows information to the letter. Someone who can say, okay, I know how to fix it. Here's your prescription. Take it twice a day. You know, there is, that's it. It's all mental and it's all very logical, problem solving. And even if you go to see that doctor, it's like you get help, but also there is, there is no evidence there's no connection there's no emotional intentional connection and that's fine for teachers that's exactly how it is they're great doctors i mean they can truly work the body to perfection they can fix people's problems in that way but they're also healers and you know you know a healer doctor i can give you like i can remember like a handful of doctors that I've met in my career as a nurse who were truly, truly healers. And I, you know, you just, you're so blessed if you truly meet somebody who's in a medical profession who's also a healer. It's very difficult for healers to thrive in medical profession. It's just exhausting, physically, emotionally, energetically exhausting. It's exhausting to be a healer in the world, period, right? Because you're always sensitive. You're always feeling the world. 
You're always trying to, you know, open yourself up to the world because that's how your healer can only be expressed when you open yourself to other people. So what I noticed is the healer doctors, when they come into the room, like no matter what, what the patient would experience, let's say the patient was in pain, severe, 10 out of 10, severe pain. And the healer doctor walk, walks in and instantly the room is filled with some kind of energy that all of a sudden in the presence of that human being, the healing, the healer, everybody relaxes. People's pain goes away. They're much more present. They're much more at peace in the presence of the doctor. And the, the healer doctor is interested in the human kind of connection more. Let's say, you know, the family, everything else around, around the person, it's all relevant. But if somebody who is a healer, he or she will relate to others through their feelings, through their emotions, through their empathy. They understand what human beings are going through. They sense their pain. It's not logical, but it's also very compassionate. It comes from the heart. So I know that, that there are a lot of healers who are just that, their empathy sometimes is a blessing, but it's also can be problematic, right? Because they expose themselves so much to feel so much pain, it's exhausting. But nevertheless, your soul may choose to be healer. And when you're a healer, you have to, you have to manage your sensitivity. You have to be able to manage your own emotional state. If you don't feel well, it means that you have not been taken care of your own healer. And it's like healer, heal yourself. Healers are people who have experienced pain in the past because that's who they are. They're healers. They want, if you, it's like a database of painful experiences that a lot of healers have to go through in order to gain access to this healing field and they can understand the human experience. They can understand the dimensions of human suffering more than anyone else. So we are all healers and we're all teachers, but in life that you have chosen, the life that your body is now, you may have one or the other. So the problem is just a few points about teachers. Teachers can become sometimes obsessed with information. They can be so fixed at their problem solving that sometimes they do not they don't place the importance of experience and human emotion. You know, I feel you. I feel you. I love you. So for them to experience love and emotional physicality, it's not as easy as for someone who's a healer. You know, a healer, they just hug everybody. They're all, you know, they talk about angels. There are so many healers in this world. So your soul is here to express itself through the healing modality or through teaching and help, you know, when you understand that if you are a healer, then fully embrace that gift in you, okay? Embrace it. You can bring so much beauty into the world. You can make this whole planet just with you, just with your energy, you can make a difference. You can make people feel alive. They can feel like they belong. They can feel just because you are, your energy, your empathy, your compassion. You can dissolve all kinds of negative events because in the presence, in the strong presence of the healer, it's like everything that unites us as human being, just awakens. People who are teachers, they are brilliant. They have the ability, you know, they're the authors. They write books, they create 
stories. They bring so many people together. They're networking. They create, begin, they solve problems every single day. So we need both. We need all the healers and all the teachers. But in essence, when you fully embrace your role as a teacher or a healer, it gets so much easier for you not to relate to the world because you know what other people expect of you, because you know why people are attracted to you. If you're a healer, they're attracted to you. They feel good in your presence. But then there's a whole lot of people when you are a teacher, they will seek you because they need knowledge, they need wisdom that you have. So here we go. I wanted to uh, talk about the teachers and healers to let you guys know that right now you are living that path. You are truly living, whether you're conscious of it or not. So it makes it a little bit easier to walk this path of soulful expression when you know who you truly are. I hope this was of service to you. Now, let me know in the comments below, who do you think you are? You are a teacher, you are a healer. How do these, who do these paths express through you? And if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. Be sure to share these videos and subscribe to this channel. Be well, be blessed. I love you. Talk to you soon.